Hello my lovely, welcome back to my channel and yet another unboxing of the Alexandra Renke Creative Box for July 2021. As you can see, I have not been able to resist the temptation of um, cancelling my cancellation. So that's what I did. Uh, because in the end I always receive lovely products and for 30 euros in my case it's not really that much to spend each month for this beautiful box. So let's go right ahead with the wonderful products we received this month. And they are, first of all, uh, this is um, a popsicle with a lemon flavor. I'm not sure if they have others in the shop. Then we have embossing powders. They are very sparkly and they're designed by Martina Manger, who goes by the name or Monica Frau Pony on Instagram and the rest of the platforms, I think. And the colors are powdered snow, rosy cheeks, and icicle teal. And some beads, uh, they are glass beads mixed up in different sizes and colors. And here we have some embroidery floss in different colors. They go with the paper quite well. So they are made by Rico and that is a chain of craft shops in Germany. So there's uh, about 10 of them, I think. <laughs> and um, yeah, they are beautiful colors. So let's see. They're cotton, 100% cotton. Up next is a stencil. And this is a multi-layered stencil from designed by Alexandra Renke. The name of it is Florales Folk Art Herz or Floral Folk Art Heart. And there you can see an example. It's quite beautiful and um, I think you may be able to use those holes as a guide for stitching with the embroidery floss. And here are two lovely envelopes. And now for the paper. Let's remove the box so we can lay out the paper as I unwrap it. I love these colors. The folk art is simply beautiful and the color combination is lovely as well, I think. So here the paper number is 202336 for this heart with the dragonfly inside and here we have one of those calm papers in a matching yellow color and the paper number here is 10 14 48 And another dragonfly. This time it's a scattered dragonfly. I like the way the colors are composed. The paper number here is 102341. Not sure why it's going rosy, the screen. Um, up next is a dragonfly paper 
uh, in different positions from the side from the top lovely designs I'd say and the paper number here is 20 no sorry 10 23 40 and another calm paper to go with the paper the colors and the paper number is 10 14 56 another beautiful design with a butterfly as the center now I really love these pale colors so beautiful with a few highlights in dark red and blue and the paper number is 10 23 37 and yet another calm paper 10 19 17 So here we have scattered butterflies, lovely, really beautiful paper. The number is 102338. Love it. And here we have a scattered bee paper with different positions <laughs> and they are fluttering across the paper number 10 23 42 cute aren't they this next calm paper is in a lighter greenish teal color 10 15 28 is the number and then we have different bugs <laughs> and uh, same color scheme same design idea and they all look lovely as well the paper number is 10 up next is another calm paper but this time it's in black or gray I should say the paper number is 10 15 26 and um, up next we have just two sheets of white blank paper and just to remind you in case you don't know all those Alexandra Renke papers are one-sided so you don't have to make a decision which side you're going to use so I've laid out the paper for my photo and starting on a project I'm, I'm going to make a card with the stencil to go into this envelope I'm using my Distress Oxide inks because I have just the right colors for the color scheme I envisaged which are Blueprint Sketch, Evergreen Bow and Kitsch Flamingo. I think they go perfectly with the rest of the papers even though I'm not going to use any of the paper 
products. But um, for instance, if you wanted, you could cut out one of the butterflies or several or another insect from the papers to embellish the card, which I'm not going to do because I think at the end, if all goes as planned, the card will shine by itself. So I'm changing the stencil and now I'm going to go over with the pink color, which will make the blue color turn a little bit purple in some places, especially on the butterfly. I hope you don't mind me showing all the filling in. <laughs> it's quite fiddly, but I have sped up the video so you don't have to spend too much time, but you can also forward it if you like. So here you can see how it goes a little bit purple in the middle where the blue meets the pink. So I'm giving some of the pink flowers a touch of blue to harmonize and then filling in the leaves and stems with the green again. And I find that I don't have to really clean the brushes. I'm using these cosmetic brushes. Um, just wipe them off on a sheet of paper a little bit and then or on this painting cloth. So they are as good as new. Now uh, instead of using an anti-static tool I'm using starch as always, <laughs> to get rid of any moisture from the ink because I'm going to use the Versamark ink with a brush to kind of work it into the holes of the stencil. That's going to take a while so I've skipped a lot of the process and now it's all done and I'm going to use there you can see hopefully a little bit of the shine of the Versamark ink so I'm going to use the pink embossing powder to give my card a wonderful sparkle cleaning up some of the areas with my brush It's ever so sparkly. So transporting the <laughs> uh, glitter embossing powder back into the container. And now I am heating up my heat gun and embossing, heat embossing all the areas I think the sparkle is a little bit less, but nevertheless, it's really sparkly still, as you can see here. Since I want to cut out the heart, I have to draw a line to give me the guide to cut it by hand, since I don't have um, a die, a matching die. And here I have cut um, uh, another square to size and also drew a heart on it. I'm erasing it a little bit so it doesn't show through too much because I'm not sure if the embossing powder is uh, completely opaque and I have gone around the edge with my ink pad with my embossing ink pad and uh, distributed it a little bit with my brush and now I'm scattering all the embossing powder over the edges and now I'm sticking the paper to my um, board but 
not realizing that you shouldn't um, use a heat gun on top from the top if you have glitter <laughs> because it blows everywhere and um, yeah so I'm trying to heat the embossing powder from the back and just going over a few spots from the front now the paper ended up a little bit warped so I doubled up the paper and glued another sheet behind it and cut it to size and as you can see I'm cutting out the heart now and I will in the end also back up this sheet with another piece of sturdy paper so that it's kind of raised from the back but before that I'm erasing the traces of the pencil lines and here I'm assembling the card already and that's it and I'm very happy in the end I did cut both top and bottom off a little bit but um, there are some still some little tiny areas that didn't get any glitter on them but I think it doesn't matter and even though the glitter is not distributed a hundred percent perfectly on the background I don't think it matters I think the card looks quite nice as it is so thank you for watching and taking the time to stay with me in this long in unboxing video I would appreciate it if you did like my video if you click like below and also followed my channel <laughs> it would help a lot leave me a comment let me know what you think and take care do what you love until next time bye bye Ta -da!